Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I want to talk to you about using MongoDB with Django. So on one hand, you have an awesome Python based web framework with Django It's probably the number one framework by a lot of standards. And on the other side, you have a NoSQL document oriented database in MongoDB insanely popular and definitely one of the better tools to use out there. So Naturally, a lot of people want to use these two together. So I want to take a look at if this is even possible, if it does work, what are the trade-offs and should you go this route? So with this video, I do have an article that I just wrote up about 10 minutes ago. I just finished editing it and I'm going to publish it by the time the video is out and it's going to be linked up in the video description. So check it out because I am referencing that article right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. And with that article, I start off with a question. Can I use MongoDB with Django? And the answer to that is yes, but not in the way that you think. So I really want to emphasize that because there are a lot of trade-offs here. So let's go ahead and start with talking about MongoDB in Python and I'll kind of lead into it and talk about packages that come with this. When it comes to using MongoDB with Python, there is actually a package that's supported by MongoDB called PyMongo. And this is a great tool to actually use Python to connect to a MongoDB database. So you can connect to it, read and write to that database and you have full access to that database so it actually works very well and I've used this with lighter Python based web frameworks like fast API and flask and they work well together because these lightweight frameworks are not really opinionated in how they want you to build out your application. So typically you'd use something like SQL alchemy for your ORM to actually connect to that database and then make queries but you don't actually have to do it. So it's not built around it. They really don't tell you how to work with it. So PyMongo actually works very well with Flask and FastAPI. But with Django, uh, this is a whole different story because Django is a more opinionated framework. It's an awesome framework. So I always want to back it up that way, but it does come with a lot of tools. And because of that, sometimes it doesn't play well with other tools. So with Django, Django is built by default for relational databases and it's really optimal for Postgres but if you look in the Django documentation it also really works well with MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle and SQLite and there are some other third-party databases that work with it. So with that Django is not really built for NoSQL databases just in the way everything functions uh, these are the databases that it recommends. Now if you look up Django and MongoDB on YouTube or in any articles, you're usually going to see this package called Django and there are a lot of issues with it. So I really want to address this because I see videos teaching on it, but no one really talks about the trade off. So I really want to address these first. So with absolutely no disrespect to the creator of the Django package, because I'm sure they've worked hard on it. I want to talk about the first issue here. So the first one is the fact that Django at this point is just an experiment. It's a very underdeveloped package. It helps you connect to the database here. It actually helps you even migrate the database and make basic queries, but beyond some basic CRUD functionality, there's really not much you can do with it. So it's not practical for an actual application. Um, I try to create some relationships and try to scale this thing right away. I started running into issues and then looking at the GitHub repo, I realized a lot of people were also presenting these issues and talking about the same problem. So outside of just playing around with it, it's not really practical. It's extremely underdeveloped. So I wouldn't recommend it for any practical use. Now, the second issue is the fact that it's not supported. It seemed like the creator had some fun with it and uh, they kind of left it. I actually did see a commit about 12 days ago. So I'm surprised somebody actually did something with it because last time I saw before that was almost about two years ago. And essentially in the package, there are 298 open issues and people are having basic issues on just pretty simple queries with their database and they can't figure those out and no one's really going through that. So the package really doesn't have much support and that's kind of a rule for me before I use anything. It has to have support because if I run into an issue, I'm using the package because I don't want to have to write my own code and hack it together. I'm trying to use a package to help me out. So it's extremely under supported. And the third issue that I have written in the article here is the fact that there's really no compatibility with later versions of Django. Uh, at this point, the only version of Django that I can get it to work with was Django 3.0.5. And if you're using Django, you usually want to use some newer versions. So that's kind of a pretty big issue for a lot of people. The fact that it only works with a certain version of it. And that's because the packages that it's using, I did a lot of research on it, uh, are simply not compatible. So no one's really modifying it and working with it. 
So not too long ago, I actually had a conversation with a developer advocate from MongoDB. You may know him as Jesse or CodeStacker on YouTube, and he had this to say about the Django package. So we were actually working on trying to figure out some kind of tutorials that we can put together on using Django with MongoDB, and we just ran into some roadblocks and basically decided that Django was not the way. So he said, it seems that Django is currently the only effective way to use MongoDB with Django. Unfortunately, it is very much a hack and the repo seems to be sporadically maintained. We don't have any contact with its maintainers. Now, the main issue here is basically that it just converts SQL queries to MongoDB queries, which really doesn't make sense for a document database. You will not get any of the benefits of MongoDB and it actually could result in poor performance in MongoDB versus SQL. So he basically agreed with me. He's talking about the functionality of MongoDB and saying that it's basically not ready for practical use. So in short, we're trying to compare two very different types of databases and it's gonna take a lot more work than what Django has done with it. Now, as far as coming up with something that does work, it's definitely possible as far as connecting the two. And Jesse did have something to say about that. So he said, apparently we've been looking into, we as in MongoDB have been looking into Django support for a while now, but the built-in ORM is very much tied to SQL, which makes it very difficult if you have any ideas we very much want to find a way to get into the Django community. So this is where we come in. I'm definitely gonna work on this. I wanna try to create some tutorials on this, maybe even work on a package with a few people. So if you have any ideas, we would love your support. So with that, all hope is not lost. I wanna look at PyMongo now. So if you're still adamant about using Django with MongoDB and you want to test it, the only practical solution I can see right now would be to use PyMongo directly with Django. And there's going to be a lot of trade-offs here. Basically, anything that has to do with the ORM is going to be thrown out the window because it's not going to work anymore. You're going to have to use PyMongo directly and make queries to the MongoDB database. That way, just using Python and not the built-in Django ORM. So until we have a package that directly ties the two, it's just not gonna work. So if you're going this route, these are the things you should consider. I'm sure there's more, but these are the first things that just come to the top of my head right now. Uh, and that is gonna be the fact that there's gonna be no more ORM. Uh, any queries are gonna be done with PyMongo. No more admin panel. Right now, the admin panel is just too configured with the Django ORM. By default, the way the migrations work and everything connects with the user model, all that authentication is done with the Django ORM, and that's just probably not gonna work. If you can find a way, cool, but I don't see any way to do that right now with PyMongo, unless you hack an entire package together yourself. Uh, as far as the database connection, in settings.py where you have that database object and switch your databases, uh, that's no longer gonna be a thing. You're not connecting PyMongo that way. You're gonna have to create your own configuration for the database and that's gonna have to be done from scratch. Um, no more migrations, no more uh, calling the migrate command or make migrations. Uh, that's not gonna happen because there's no more automatic migrations with PyMongo. It's just not gonna connect with Django. Uh, as far as authentication and models, this is the part where I'm a little bit more unsure about because um, I need to look at how Django's authentication system works in depth to see how I can actually have it work with PyMongo. But I do know we're gonna lose a lot of access to that default user model and so on. And as far as modeling our data, that I'm not too sure about. Maybe you can use Pydantic. I haven't looked into it enough. I do plan on doing a lot of work here. So those are my main takeaways. Basically, uh, you're gonna have to ignore everything to do with the ORM and rethink how Django works. We lose a lot of functionality. Django is still very useful outside of this, but the ORM is one of the most powerful features about Django, so it's sad that we're losing that. That's why a package connecting these two would be absolutely amazing. So I'm definitely gonna be taking a look at using it. If you have any ideas, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section. I will be looking at making a video and using PyMongo and Django together. Definitely not Django because that ship has sailed. It's out the window unless someone comes in and really saves the day, but I'm not gonna hold my breath until that happens. So uh, I hope this video was informative. I hope it gives you some ideas here and how this can work and I will see you all in another video.